So here in this segment of where we're going through different things to prepare your home for the hurricane, something that is a huge concern is trees. This is Wayne William, certified arborist uh, who owns and operates Tri-State Tree Service in a great part of Florida. So welcome. Yes, sir. Yeah, so uh, there's some things that people can do when preparing their home for a hurricane. There's um, specifically, let's talk about the types of trees when a hurricane comes in. Are there particular types of trees that are just, yeah, it's better to not have those on your lot and other trees that are better? Sure, so uh, pine trees tend to break. Uh, so when they break in half, they, they fall onto your home. Right. Oaks tend to blow over. So even though they're typically a larger tree, they kind of ease down to your home. Well, I say ease, of course, we've all seen the destruction trees can do to your house, but right. Uh, you know, oaks and pines are the biggest failures. Uh, your ornamental trees fell a lot, but they're small and you don't have to worry so much with them. Okay. Uh, you can go in and keep your canopy cleaned out. Uh, yeah. That reduces the wind load on the tree mm -hmm. and tries to help you prevent that kind of damage. Okay, cool. So we talked about pine, we talked about oak. How about, say, hickory? So hickories are relatively strong trees. They usually lose limbs rather mm -hmm. than the whole tree. Okay. Uh, similar with the poplar and the sweet gums. Right. Uh, the limbs are more brittle than the trunk is. So uh, much better to have a hickory or a poplar in your yard with limbs falling on you right. rather than the whole tree. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so, uh, and are, is there a difference between different trees, say between water, oak, and I mean, between different oaks, between sure. say water oaks and live oak, for example? So the water oak and the laurel oak is very shallow rooted. Typically the whole tree fails. Right. Uh, on the live oak, they have a lot of co-dominant stems where they all come together multiple trunks. And that's your weak point on the live oak. So it's rare that the root system fails, but the individual sections fail. Nice. And that's the perfect tree to reduce the wind cell by cleaning the canopy. Okay, great. Well, when you were talking about co-dominant, uh, co... <laughs> yeah, co-dominant stem. So yeah, co basically, uh, as your tree grows and it divides, it either is a limb or is a stem. Oh, okay. So then the tree thinks, two different stems are growing. They both think they're the prominent tree. So they're growing bark all the way around them on the inside. So what appears to look like a crack is actually the bark growing on the inside, pushing the two trunks apart. Oh, okay. Then time and weight of growth starts pulling them apart. And then wind comes by and, and finishes it off. And this is why I'm talking to a certified arborist, Wayne Williams, instead of me just giving you my opinions on different trees. Um, the trees that are, that, and I've, I've heard of, of some instances where, say, oak trees have kind of fallen and kind of protected a house a little bit against some things. I, have you seen that? Uh, somewhat, you know, people are always scared of the tree that's close to their house. Right. <clears throat> it's typical the tree that's 30 to 40 foot away oh. that is your biggest threat. I didn't know this. Okay. Uh, so the tree close to your house, it blows over, it moves 10, 15 foot and rests against your home, where the one 30 foot away gains momentum by the time it approaches your roof. Because the wind, it's, it's actually flying in the wind and, and uh, it has the momentum to crash into yes. the house. Yes. Okay, great. So let's talk a little bit more about distances from the house. Okay. Uh, right next to the house could be a problem, but probably not the problem that 30 to 40 feet away is. That is correct. Okay. How about 60 feet so away or 60 so? 60 feet away, then you've got tips of the tree hitting the home. Okay. So you're going to not get the impact of the heavy wood, uh, and you're basically just going to lose a gut or facial or something like that. Very rare that you're going to, you know, actually destroy your home with a 60 foot away tree. Right, okay. This is something that I have observed, I've heard once that watering your lawn every day can produce a shallow root system for trees, which can cause the tree to fall over easier in this times of storm. This is true. Yes. Okay, so those of you who are keeping that lawn perfect by watering every day, you might want to consider 
a few days a week as opposed to every day or something to just so sure. it allows the roots to grow a little deeper. And, and you're making, I, I'd heard a, this. I didn't you're making a weak true. lawn as well. You're making a lawn that has to have water every day. Yeah. So its roots aren't going deep enough to survive a drought. Yeah. So good. This is Wayne Williams, artified, yes, artified, <laughs> <laughs> certified arborist with uh, Tri-State Tree Service, and I'm Rob of Rob Brooks Realty. And thank you for watching this segment of preparing your home for the hurricane. Thank you.